So I got Chris Mullen right here, Hall of Famer, right? You are greeting one of your great teammates, Tim Hardaway, run TMC, running mate, into the Hall of Fame tonight. You're presenting. How does that feel, man? How does it feel to have all three of you guys with Mitch in the Hall of Fame? Yeah, Andy, it's just, um, first of all, so well-deserved. Yeah. We all know that. Tim mm -hmm. just such an incredible player. Uh, one of the best players of our generation. Yeah. Uh, so dynamic, so so fun to watch, so great mm -hmm. to play with. Yeah. So it brings back a lot of incredible great memories. Yeah. Uh, but more importantly, uh, to be able to celebrate Tim mm -hmm. um, on this tremendous honor, the greatest honor you can get as an individual mm -hmm. in this sport. So we're just happy for him. Uh, and we're just we're glad this moment's here. Yeah. And yeah. we're going to celebrate him and have a great time. Yeah, you guys were just so great to watch. I mean, do, do you think your style of play would work in today's game? The way that, the way that you know, everything's from the outside now, you know, and everything. Yeah, the, the problem <laughs> is I think it would excel in today's game. It just didn't excel in, in the, when we were playing. Well, it did. Uh, our, our, but, yeah. yeah, it did. We, yeah. And we only played two seasons together. So right. that, that was the unfortunate part. Yeah. But... Uh, Nelly was ahead of his time yeah. as far as playing small ball and yeah. spreading the floor. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I, I, you know, we would fit perfectly in today's yeah, NBA. Yeah, for sure, man. One thing I got to ask you about, 30 years since the Dream Team, man, since we were in, in Monte Carlo or Barcelona. I mean, does it feel like 30 years? <laughs> it almost feels like yesterday, but yet, you know, it's been 30 yes, years. Yes, you know, it's, it's <laughs> funny. I mean, and Andy, we talked about, you know, the memories I have with Mitch and Tim and, yeah. you know, with you sure. and, and all the, the people that were on that tremendous trip mm -hmm. in 92. Yeah. Yeah, some days... It, it, you know, those memories come and it feels like yesterday, right? Bumping right. to Charles Barkley and, you know, he was living next to me in the <laughs> hotel. So right. I can just, like, hear him like it was yesterday. <laughs> but, right. you know, my son Sean, who was born June 7th of 1992, when yes. I see him, he's yeah. 30 years old now. That yeah. says, uh, that's a, yeah, that's now a wake-up call. all of a sudden, <laughs> yeah, it's a I big wake-up call. You know, it's interesting because I remember Carl Malone had his little ones and Larry, had, Larry Bird had yep. feeding the baby on the plane. Remember that? Man, we're so just so blessed to, for me. I always say I could, if I could have retired after the Dream Team, would have been a perfect career, you know. But no doubt, and and, <laughs> and you, you know, you, all the obviously legendary players, yeah. uh, our wives and families and the children. It just yeah. it, it brought everything together, yeah. You know, and the legendary coaches Chuck Daly and Coach K and mm -hmm. Lenny, yeah. PJ, it was just uh, yeah. Just a moment in time, no, you know, and I think we all, we all, like you said, we all cherish those memories. Yeah, so I love coming to this weekend. I'm sure you do, too. You get to see everybody, just relive things, just, you know, can reconnect. It's a wonderful thing. And it's so great to see you, man. Andy, my pleasure, and we've got to do a longer version we of this will. podcast. Thank come, you. You know, come, come the fall, and we'll, yeah. we'll get into some uh, topics in depth. That would be great. Yeah, I'll see you on ring night. Good deal. I'll be up there. All right, okay. Good to see you. Thanks, bud.